Hello, it's Taylor here and Fred the Dove. I'm doing a Windsor Newton pour. I've got all the info here. Of course, I can't see what you can and can't see because the thing's very tall today. Anyways, I'll put everything in the, the recipe on the intro and the text and we're off. We're going to do a spring themed pour. I think you can see all the colors. Let me get up here and make sure everything's still running. Yes, yay! So I've got all my spring colors here. <clears throat> here is all the info, all the basic info you need. You can hit pause and read that and blow it up and again I'll put in my stuff. It's going to be a fairly short video I hope. I've already pre-mixed all the colors and remixed them and that takes about an hour. People don't realize the time goes into the chemistry and, and mixing the bloom and paints. Um, so I used a white base and then just additive, added, used, used the additive method. I just added colors. Anyways, on we go. Um, water's about 25%. Uh, didn't use flow toral, used pouring medium, which was only about 20%. That stuff is ridiculously expensive, even with your coupons. Use your coupons. So, I already primed this board twice, two coats of Oops Paint acrylic. And here we go. I've got a bit of cold, so forgive me if I s sound super snotty. But it's really all about the pour. That's why we watch these videos. I'm probably going to be doing some ribbon, so I'm using a bigger cup. And it may have bits in it. I'm not super, even though I'm using really nice paints, I'm not really super hung up about all that. Okay, a bit of white in the bottom. I didn't mix a lot of white. That may or may not come back to bite me later. I'm going to go with some yellow. I'm doing a fairly tall pour. That does not seem like it. So funny is you mix the paint as soon as you get done with the last one. Um, you have to add water again, so that's another fun challenge. I've got a poppy orange I miss, mixed. Kind of doing, like I said, I'm doing it tall because I want to be able to get some good ribbons at the end of it. There's no Floetrol in here at all. There's no silicone yet. I should be adding that about now. We'll go ahead and do that. Shake, shake, shake. Don't want to breathe that stuff. Make sure we're still recording. It smells wonderful, by the way. Good we are. <clears throat> My phone has a tendency to turn off randomly, so I'm always going to... I check often. When you do a tall pour, you're forcing the paint through everything. So you're trying to pull cells in that way. It kind of helps get things moving. Don't want to do too much black. Don't want to do too much white. I want to make sure I can cover my canvas or my paint surface and have a little bit of extra left for those ribbons they keep talking about. Ribbons are fun. People seem to really enjoy those. So it kind of looks like a modern piece of art already just in the cup. I want to use as much paint as I can. I do have a couple more canvases I can use. Like I said, it's the mixing of the paint that takes the most time. Pink be my friend today. Me and Pink have a relationship. I didn't say it was a good relationship, I just said a relationship. Okay, make sure we don't really want to mix our paints, unless we want to mix our paints. That's not the goal. Be careful when you scrape. <laughs> snuffle, snuffle. A bit more silicone. Shush. Oh, oh, whoops, overdose probably. <sighs> yes, you can overdose on silicone, and then it makes these fat, squishy silicone bubbles in your paint. And then you have to either pop them, find them, hopefully your heat tool or torch will take care of them and raise them to the top of your piece. It's going to be interesting. We poured more than a, enough into this cup. So it will be a dirty pour. 
it's not gonna be a float cup. Snuffle, snuffle. Make sure we're still rolling. Yay, we're still rolling. Do I really need to swirl it? Probably not so much. It's pretty swirly looking already. I want to bring up maybe some of the white from the bottom. Oh, that's funky. Uh, probably too much black if that's any indicator. Okay. Let's just go to town with this paint. This is not a cheap pour. Okay, more green. I'm gonna try to go around the edge of the cup. There we go. Snuffle, snuffle. I should pause while I blow my nose so I don't drip into my painting. I'm not really on the to-do list to snot onto my painting. <laughs> and yes, I had to go there. Let me hit pause. I've got to blow my nose. Okay, onward we go to the pour. Let the pouring begin. Huh. Well, let's just go ribbons from the get-go, huh? The viscosity's got me concerned. See, things aren't moving around too much. Oh, this is going to be... Could be mud sooner than I'd like it to be, which is going to be a bummer. I don't have an edge catcher today. Just my hand. Okay, don't want too much ziggy zag going on. Come on, flow. Like I said, it seems like it was drying up pretty quick. We're only at 50% humidity. Oh, look at that weird blob there. I'm not a fan of that. Eh, I definitely put too much black, I think. I don't know. It's still in the developmental stages. Backfill a little bit. So it has something to slide on. Slide, baby, slide. Move, move. That got really muddy over there. And the center did too, so I'm not really excited about that. Kind of bummed. Bummed my trip, man. Roll. Hmm. Interesting. And you just never know what's going to take you. Use the mud. People usually like riveting because you get a really cool agate effect. I'm not getting that this time. Well, not too much. Well, there's a lot going on here. Depends on where I look. Oh, poo. I don't like to do the scenery stuff. That people do the smeary stuff. I'm not such a fan. Mm, yeah, I don't like the smeary stuff I do. Oops. I'm also not excited about that. It's boring. Okay, so you've got a lot of ribbon stuff going on here. Okay, now it's going to be time to see all those lumps that could be silicone. Let's make sure we're still filming. Yay, we're still going. It's a bit long. Sorry about that, thanks. Interesting how we got all this mud through here, but obviously it's the way I, I swirled. I probably swirled too much. Ah, okay. Now it's going to get loud, but I'm pretty sure. Oh, that's kind of cool how it did that. Must have, well... Uh, that is 
Okay, oh, keep this little finger. Okay. My paint might be too thick too. I don't want to burn my paint with my embossing burn. I do want to stick to the top. I think we might need to thin this out a little bit more. Which is kind of a bummer. Which direction should I go to? This is where we our cells might lose shape. Well, it's not super open. It's actually closed up pretty fast. That's probably because I overdosed on silicone. Silicone tends to dry out my paint and slow it up. So we've got some bubble stuff I'm not a fan of that the heat gun didn't take care of. I guess I probably should let my paint sit a little bit longer too. Bummer. See that lump? It might be a silicone bubble lump, which means when I pop it, I'm not afraid of touching my stuff at all. Let's see, now I look for textures. Oh. Looking for more bubbles. Hmm. Yeah. Oops, seized up pretty quick. I was hoping to pull some visual interest out of that. Because yeah. all these layers that we can't see underneath the paint. See? Uh, okay, well, there that one is complete at the moment. I'm going to put it away and do a couple more canvas since I have more. Oops, <laughs> I have more canvas and more paint. Okay, now for two more canvases. Well, I guess I'll start with one. We're gonna put some more paint in there. Yeah, let's see how it is. I will not be putting in any more black. I'm pretty sure I overdosed on the black. Ribbon it. Yeah, I don't know that I'll have any left for the second canvas. Well, maybe I will. Because I like to salvage, scavenge. Let's see where this is going to take us.
let's see how it's going here. If it's quiet, because we'll start focusing. Or you think you're focusing. It's like crazy in little Fiori almost. Can roll and pull your paint. Don't be afraid to touch the paint. It's interesting how all of a sudden I got all the solids out of all this chaos, huh? Of course, had I been able to focus on that while I was doing this other thing, I could know why and how that happened. But that would have been involved multiple, like a compound eye or something. Um, a little slippery, slidey. Let's see, are we still on? Let's pull out. Yes, we are still recording. It's so terrible. Hmm. This is a very eclectic pour, I guess I could say. I really want to do something in there. That definitely won't stay. See how thick that paint is? So I have a real potential for cracking when it's that thick. more interest if we can. Okay, let's try the blasting tool and see if there's any silicone to float to the top. See how that goes. That was really nice. A lot of bubbles. That's kind of cool. That's a nice little cells there. I might stretch it some more and see if I can get any more visual interest out of that. Oh, look at how thick that is. Ah. Oh, and it's closing up. When it stops moving, that means it's closed. Closing up shop for the day. See ya. And it looks like it'll keep developing. Oh, it looks like I've got a little booger there. Reminds me of the time a fly fell into my painting. Left a nice little arrow. Okay, let's see if we have enough for another one. <laughs> I'm just going to let that sit there for a few minutes, or for a couple minutes. I'll pause you while I do that. Okay, while you unpause, I put drizzled more of paint, trying to use as much paint up as possible, except the black, because that's very overwhelming, obviously. Um, hopefully this is settled and I can release it. Hopefully also these dribbles will help the paint move and flow. Maybe we'll even get crazy on it. I'm going to let this settle and it gets more really nice ribbonage in there. There we go. I'm trying to maintain, since I don't have a lot of paint here, I don't want it to all fall off the surface. I'm going to work it a little bit. The whole thing is to just keep the paint as open as possible. Yeah, I probably don't have enough, but that's okay. Just have patience and let it do what it's going to do. And yes, you can be bummed when it doesn't quite work out the way you want it to. Okay, minimal ribbonage going here. Come on. What can we get? Again, patience. When you don't want to have any patience, patience. Yeah. The paint just closed up so fast. So I'm gonna be crazy here, man. I'm crazy. Sometimes 
Sometimes red will surprise you. Sometimes it'll just be red. A lot of times you'll manage to pull some layers out of it. I don't think this is going to be one of those times. That's okay. Nobody will die. Progress over perfection, right? It's kind of interesting. Oh, yuck. I don't like doing that to stuff. That was not a smart move. Of course, you don't know that until it's too late. Okay. Moving it back down. Hoping gravity will like work with you. Yo, gravity, be my friend, dude. Yeah, gravity, yes, gravity. Okay. Pull that puppy downward. Yes, pull that puppy down. Basically, I did two separate. I did two separate pours on this puppy. as though it's one for her. That would be the ticket. Yeah, when it starts sticking to my glove like that, I know for sure it's closing up. It's closing up. Oh, there we go. Now we got some movement. So anyway, I think, well, what do I want to keep? What do I want to ditch? Kind of hard to tell. It's like, well, I'll just let that whole puppy just come on down. Up most of my paint, that was kind of the goal. So let's see if we're still rolling and if I can use the embosser. I'm not sure it's gonna pull anything out of here. It's like which direction to go. Okay. I've seen better, I've seen worse. I think this is going to look nice when it dries. So it's going to thin up a little bit. I'll probably keep adding the move around a little because I tend to do that. I can't keep my hands off it. Well, I think it's done moving. Oh, it's got a little bit of movement left. I don't move in this direction. Pull the agating, the agate effect. And to you people screaming, no, stop, don't keep moving it. Oh well. <laughs> See, we're getting some more bubble. I don't know if that was bubble or cell development there. It'll be interesting to see how it keeps. I kind of like that little island there. That's kind of fascinating. Okay, well, there you go. Um, the recipe's there. And that's one of my longest videos. I'm sure you fast-forwarded through lots of it, because I would too, and it's all good. Thank you for dropping by. Taylor here. Have a wonderful day. Keep on pouring. Um, creative block is done. Now it's just playing with colors. Have a great one. Bye.